video ko. Pang vlog. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> sit down, baby. Sit down. Because we wait for the food. Akala ko si Javi ang nag cellphone ngayon, alam nyo ayan na pala yung London ay oh balikan tayo ah dito rin tayo yung bangko mayroon mm -mm. yeah. din naman pala doon oh Super in it. On the left hand side, the white ship and yellow funnel, the Wellington, a former sloop of the New Zealand Royal Navy. If you have a look at the stern end of the Wellington ship, the back end is where the red flag is, behind it on the embankment wall. See that stone archway with Old Father Thames' face on it? That's called Temple Arch or Temple Gate. It's the official boundary line between two cities. We are now leaving the city of Westminster behind us. We are now entering the one square mile city of London. On the right-hand side, the red brick building with the Oxo Tower it used to be a power station, then it was a cold feed store, hence the name Oxo. Today, it's just flats and shops and a very exclusive restaurant. Many years ago, it was illegal to advertise on the banks of the River Thames. Oxo got around the doors by installing their logo in the shape of the windows. That night, the shine spread all over London and saved them millions of pounds in free advertising. Ano yung 
Okay. Because we have the gateway to London, the Tower Road Bridge. It was designed by Sir John Wall Barry in 1894. The two centre spans of this bridge over weigh a thousand tons each, and they can be raised into the upright position in just under 90 seconds. Yeah, airplane. Once, so. once only on the opening ceremony where it shifted the bridge. There is a new attraction to Tower Bridge now, folks. As we go through, taking a look at the catwalk, so it's called the Tower Bridge. It's called the Tower Bridge Spirit. You can get up there for five pounds each. So right, ladies and gents, we're going to pass through the Tower Road Bridge. We're going to be shortly going to be arriving at St Catherine's Pier for the Tower of London. Tickets and information on returning boats. If you've got the select the cruise tickets for the Tower boats, this is where you must leave this boat. This boat is now going further down the stream to the Royal Borough Bridge. Boats returning from, to Westminster from St Catherine's will find you in about 10 minutes' time, and you're over 40 minutes. The last one was in Catherine. If you don't get paid as tour guides, we don't make a charge for it either. What we do is, though, folks, actually the boat on the exit, you're going to see a little silver champagne bucket. For any appreciation, you'd like to show you my efforts. I'd like to thank you for traveling the tension for sightseeing. I hope you have a lovely day at the Tower Market. You want? You want to Yeah. Yeah. People just joined us at St Catherine's. Welcome aboard the Mercuria. Short safety announcement, nothing meant to alarm you. Required to do so on behalf of Marine Coast Guard Agency. To inform you, the boat you are travelling on the Mercuria is licensed to carry 250 passengers. We have all the life saving equipment on board for that number. Life jackets are all around the vessel with lockers, clearly signed with the green and white international signing. On the back deck we have inflatable life rafts that can be released automatically or manually by a member of the crew. Unlikely event of an emergency, we told what to do for the public address system. Downstairs we have a fully licensed bar and downstairs at the back of the boat that is where you will find the toilet if you need to. I'll continue pointing out the place of interest for you folks, just please bear in mind I'm not a professional tour guide, just a member of the crew. Now we've left the city of London and we've now entered what's called the Docklands area. There's not lots for me to talk about until we get until we get to Greenwich. So you might notice a few gaps in the commentary. But on the right hand side, see the Butler's Wharf development many years ago, all they were old warehouses. They got brought in the 1990s and got turned into luxury flats and apartments. A single bedroom apartment over there today will cost you around 600,000. The penthouses go for about 1.5 to 2 million. Also on the right, see the dock entrance, that's called St. Saviour's Dock. Yeah. That's where they've done a lot of the filming for Oliver, Oliver Twist, where Fagan had his lair of pit pocket boy thieves, Jacob Island, where Bill Stites met his sticky end.
Have a look on the left hand side, see the building called Oliver's Wharf. That was the first ever warehouse conversion into luxury flats and apartments on the banks of the river. As we get level with Oliver's Wharf, look down the side of the building, you're going to see a little white pub attached to it with a staircase leading down to the river. Dito naman kami sa ano, sa London, Tower Bridge. London Tower Bridge. Dito kami sa loob dahil sobrang init. Parang ito na, parang ito na kami sa isa, no? sa ibabaw. Kaya dito na kami sa loob. Sobrang dunia. Just like to stress, I'm not a professional talk, I'm just a member of the crew for making any mistakes, please bear with me. Bridge we're about to go beneath here, the Tower Road Bridge, designed by Sir John Wolf Barry in 1894. Two centre spans of the bridge, both weigh a thousand tonnes each, and they can be raised into the upright position in just under 90 seconds. They did fail once, and once only. Helicopter na ko! Parang drone! On the right hand side behind the trees we have the world famous Tower of London. The centre part is the oldest part where you see the four towers and the flag. On the right hand side, the yellow brick building of Billingsgate Fish Market. Fish market stood there for over 900 years. Sadly, it got moved further down the street to the Isle of the Docks. So my also, like the blue and glass building, that is an advanced training school for window cleaners. And the bridge in front of us, the London Bridge, there's been four London bridges over the last 2,000 years. Yung amo ko dating babae, dyan nakatira, dyan nagtrabaho. This one was opened in 1973 by Her Majesty the Queen. The bridge before the logo in the shape of the windows. On the right hand side, see the old telephone box? Very rare to see in London nowadays, folks. So that's going to be converted into a one bedroom apartment with riverside views. Also on the right, see the stone archway with old Father Temple's face on it. It's called Temple Arch or Temple Gate, the official boundary line between two cities. We are now leaving the city of London behind us. We have just entered the city of Westminster. On the right hand side, the building with the green dome roof, Somerset House, used to hold the birth, marriages, and death certificates of this country. It's now owned by the Inland Revenue, the tax man. And the bridge in front of us, the Waterloo Road Bridge, also known as the Ladies Bridge, because it was mainly built by women during the Second World War, is faced with a very expensive self cleaning Tottenham stone. Every time it rains in London, this bridge will clean itself. When we go through the bridge, take a look up, see how dirty it is underneath. That is where the rain cannot penetrate. So as you can see, the ladies done a very good job with building <laughs> the Pag ganun nga, yung malpipil mo pag ganun ka parang na, ano ka nalulunod. Mas oh? 
Nakaupo ka dyan, nakatayo. Nakatayo ko kayo. Ay, nakatayo lang? O, tapos yung, ano, yung turn na kayo. Ah, diba, ganda pala. Kung nakatayo lang. Sandra na? Through the bridge coming up on the right, you're going to see the building with the green tile roof flying the Union flag. That's the back entrance to the world famous Savoy Hotel. The cheapest room in Through the bridge ahead of us on the right, you're going to see a great vessel permanently moored up on the river. It's called the Tatchell Castle. It used to be a ferry boat on the River Humber. They built up to the River Thames in the 1990s and turned it into a floating bar and restaurant. I highly recommend going over there, folks. On the left hand side, you can see the largest wheel in Europe, the London Eye, has 32 glass capsules, each one for London Boroughs. When it first opened in the year 2000, you would have queued over there for four hours to pay £8.50. Today, it will cost you £25 per adult. But you can also get married now on the London Eye, folks. What you do is you rent a pod out, so you have 25 invited guests. Meet the priest at the bottom, you say your vows on the way up. When you get to the top, you are pronounced husband and wife. It's all pretty much downhill from there. The right agent guests will shortly be arriving at Westminster here. Tickets and information on returning folks. Summer ngayon, kaya okay, okay. 